And Oaktree trying to set a screen inside for Jay, and it's rejected. The third block by Roy Rogers. Trying to bounce pass it through traffic, and Garris picks it off. Ahead to Nupu. Skies for the dunk. Well, that might bring this crowd in this ballgame. Notre got up for that one, and Illinois is within two. Garris, Keen for three. Good to go. Keen hits a three. He has five. And Alabama wants a 20-second timeout. That three by Keen makes it a one-point ball game as Illinois grabs the lead, 22 to 21. Washington, now he'll pop for three, and he answers. Eric Washington answers with another three. He has nine. I guess there's a reason why he came back in the ballgame. Right? He will deny, but he kind of plays center field. Watches everybody from the rebounds and his block shot. The ball contested out east. The shot clock's at five. Inside, and the shot will not go. A put back and count it for G. That ties the game. G stayed with it. Rodgers made him adjust the first one. Rodgers, okay, I'll let you run. But you have to sign a contract that says if you don't run defensively, I can take you out of the ball game. A lot of coaches, players will say, we want to run. And the coaches say, yeah, but you don't do it defensively. So Lou Henson said, yeah, that's fine, guys. A three of seven at the line. Whitfield missed the first one and makes the second one to tie the game at 25. And his name mentioned prominently for a long time in regard to this Illinois situation. Jimmy Collins, his 13th year. As an assistant here, he came out of there charged with the foul. And Garris converts this one. That 86% mark, the best in the Big Ten, 15th in the country. Well, and what's nice as a coach, this is the kid you want the ball in his hands. So he handles it all the way down the stretches. He knocks in big free throws because he wants to get fouled for Jenna Bogan. So Garris empty from the floor so far tonight. Green. Set by Rogers. Here's a jumper for three. Eric Washington. Washington has 12. Well, Washington's hit four three pointers. He is four of eight. All eight. Hard the defense couldn't trap him. Dean out of the corner for three, and he answers. How about that one? Right back at you. 30 28, Illinois by two, and Keen has eight points. The player stepped in his way, so he just threw it down towards the other end. Keen throws it inside, and the buzzer sounds ending the first half. Starting with Washington and Whitfield. Here's a jumper from Garrett. Counted for two. They're going to give him two, and that's his first field goal of the evening. And you knew from picks from down low. Keen low for Garrett off the glass and in, and Illinois now up by six. The biggest lead of the night for him. Goes to the corner. That's Hester out of the corner. They're going to get a three. Hester hits a three. 37 28. Can pay, but on the other end, McGee's big and strong inside. He can go the offensive board. Almost McGee, they call him Moose. For obvious reasons. <laughs> has three points tonight. He's averaged just a little better than three a game for the year. Come off a lot of picks. You can free yourself up and at least challenge it. What a move. No trail leaning inside and puts it off the glass. Illinois again by nine. No. They'll go back to Rodgers and the hook shot's going to go. What they will teach Rodgers at the NBA level is to reestablish himself in a little better position. He kicked it out that time. And Swings it to Garris. He'll pop for three. Count it. Good pick by G down low against his own. Garris just spotted up. G picked the bottom man at three deck there. And Arnold Palmer, they'll all be on ESPN. Here's a shot by Marvin Orange out of the corner. Friday, three o'clock. Hester. Now Keen finds G, and it's rejected there. Illinois has taken primarily man to man defense. And Orange over Johnson. And they're going to go for three on that one. He has been guarded by some of the best players. He will try to do everything he can. Johnson off the inbound, and it's swatted away, but we'll get a goaltending there. Rogers will dispute it, but the goaltending call made by Dick Fester. You know, it's fun to watch this kid block shots. He just has unbelievable quickness off his feet, his timing to the basketball. Again, it's always hard to tell when it's slow motion. It always looks different than regular, but... This kid is exciting. 44-38. 
Eric Washington back to Williams, and he will pop for three. The freshman hits. So Alabama back to within three with 14.40 to play. Now you'll notice offensively, goes to the free throw line. And hits this one. Williams wants to take Johnson off the dribble. And Williams puts it up and good for two. Well, you can tell the freshman, they wanted to run a play, and he kept looking, thinking he could take him off the dribble. Finally waved out his teammates and took Johnson right off the dribble and scored. That's seven for Brian Williams. Garris to Keene. G. And the dunk. Keene on the assist. And G with a pair. 47-43. Washington for three, and it's a one-point game. Eric Washington makes it 47-46. And he already meets the offensive player at the rim. Garris hits the first one. Illinois by two. Garris with 11. Shot coming. This one good as well. So he makes it a three-point. He knows the state. He knows the Big Ten. So I recommend him. But I know it's going to be a tough decision for the AD. And uh, basically, other than my recommendation, Dwayne, I'm staying out of it. Jimmy Collins with great recruiting contacts for this program, especially in Chicago. And it would be nice to see a fellow who's been around as long as he has and has been as loyal to the program as he has to get that job. Time will tell. Hester from long range for three. G keeps it alive, and Hester's there to grab it along the baseline. Back to G. He's going to pop and count that one for two. That's one way to take the shot blocker out of the play if G knocks in a couple long-range bombs. He has 10. Now Orange answers, and that's a three. So Marvin Orange, a 40% three-point shooter for the year, hits for the Crimson Tide. Now Richard Keene working against Orange, and it's rejected by Rogers away by Hester and Notary out of there with a basketball to Keen on the left side he's gonna pop and it will go this time 53-49 ball still alive and Washington comes through reverses underneath and on second effort puts it up and in well, this kid has really played a whale of a ball game he cuts the deficit to two again three on lob over out of the corner this one is good for McGee 54-53 Alabama That's it. steps to the line for Illinois and this one is good as Washington goes out of the lineup he has supplied the punch this half as has Orange so Orange and Whitfield are going to have to take over the scoring right now again see if they can hit Rodgers down low Illinois has not really defended him that well but they haven't gone to Rod too much especially the second half McGee low, good pass. Pops it back to Orange. This is a three attempt, and it's good. Marvin Orange rings the three. Great decision by McGee. Didn't have it very well on the post. Whitfield to Orange, and he's going to pop for three and hits again. Oh, this is 15. He really has a feel. He just wants some open shots and wants his teammates go down for him. No tree battling for the basketball comes away with it. The pass ahead to Hester for two off the glass. Jerry Hester with a pair. No tree outstanding. Brian Williams going to the line. 80% free throw shooter. That was the best in the SEC. And this one drops for him. He has eight points tonight, averaging 11.3 a game. Freshman out of Montgomery, Alabama. And this one is good. Again, a five-point spread. Keen will return. Williams. Williams out to the corner. And a jumper on the way for Washington. Another three. He has 23. His high is 29 against Bucknell earlier this year. Well, they rotate guys in. They're just extremely quick. They penetrate. They kick the ball to each other. And then they can finally go down low to Rodgers. And Rodgers converts to give Alabama a 10-point lead. That's eight for Off to Keen. Keen for three, and that's good. Oh, that two range. Eric Washington nearly blocked that shot. Keen had to adjust, but as seniors do, he did adjust. Garris converts this one. 67-61, 15 for Garris. But Rogers to the corner, and a pass intercepted by Garris. Garris will take it to the glass, and he is fouled. 
Women's Tournament. Garris hits this one. He has 16. You know, interesting. When Garris stole that ball, you know what's on his mind. He goes right to the basket, tries to draw any contact he can so he can go back to the free throw line. And he converts them both. 67 63 now. Garris. Williams away at the line for two. County. In the coaching career of Lou Henson. The local news gazette putting out a supplement bidding adieu to Lou. It scans his career. Back to New Mexico State. There along with Jimmy Collins right there who may succeed him as the head coach here at Illinois. Still to be determined. There's off to Hester. Now Keene right there with Keene is orange. Garrett puts it up. It's good. And a whistle. Garris nails a three. A big bucket. Garris goes to the line, 10 of 12 tonight, and hits this one to make it a four-point play and a two-point game, 69-67. Oh, Orange lets it fly, not going to go. McGee tries to keep it alive, but it's Notre who battles for it. Notre covers up on the basketball and saves it by calling a 20-second timeout. The 6-2 sophomore guard will return to the game for Illinois. Well, Hester at one point looked like he wanted to drive, then he remembered they needed three. As the shots goes up and misses, the ball's kept alive by G down low. And then Keene takes one, and really Hester has no option right here. Got away with a little bit of a push, decided to put the ball right back in. Whitfield to inbound the ball. Illinois putting on the pressure here. And the Williams. And Williams has fouled as Notre came up. Keene tried to foul him immediately in the backcourt, but he got away from him. 3.4 seconds left. Keene tried to make the foul, which would be advanced quickly, and G's tried there to set picks, or someone's going to have to throw it up. And this one is good. 71 69. Alabama in the second half getting 26 points from the bench. And Brian Williams drops this one in. 72-69. Keen looking for the long pass. Here's Garris, and the shot is going to wind up short to end this one. 